Welcome everybody. We are we're here. We're at Oyster Grow. We're on the ground, and we've got some really cool stuff coming at you. Uh, we've been we've been listening, and we're gonna go talk with Steen, and we're gonna see. We have we got a big unveiling, a, a big thing coming in in new floats for our for our system. So. Without further ado, what we want to do, we want to get to the meat and the potatoes. We want to ask some questions. We want to find out what's different, what's going on. Um, so let's let's go do that. Oh, exciting days indeed. Um, so what have we been doing? Over the last 18 months, we've been reaching out, visiting. Um, we've been to Iceland. We've been all, all over the US. We've been to the UK. We've been talking to people in Germany uh, and really talking to people who are established using Oyster Grow and talking to people who are looking to get started into it and really ask them what they're looking for from the optimal system. And um, we're, we've taken all that feedback and basically we've we've put this into this new float configuration and uh, we're proud to unveil it and we're really really excited to be sharing it with you so uh, let's uh, let's let's take a look at the system and we'll go over uh, the features and uh, uh, we'll go through each point as it is perfect and, and so what did you you know while you're meeting with these people from literally all over the world what are you hearing from them that that has gone into this system um, well, essentially, obviously, everyone's always looking for more. They want they want more product, more efficiency, faster growing oysters, healthier oysters, things like that. But they also want their equipment to perform better and last longer. Um, so they're they're really um, things that we've been listening to, and that's what we put into a lot of the engineering uh, and the design with this new style of uh, float that we're offering. The float itself is called the Oyster Grow High Float. Um, so high flow, basically it's an elevated height, so it's three inches taller than our traditional uh, float system uh, without being a larger float uh, on top of that. So it's actually only 10% larger by volume. So I'm not going to break my back trying to flip these things in the water. Exactly. I mean, you know, what you do not want to have is have a massive float because come a storm, come a winter, when you've got to put that on the bottom, you've got to go and retrieve that. Um, your system, your ropes, your lines, any equipment you're using and the people who work for you can only lift and pull so much. So we were very conscious when we were engineering this that we wanted large but we didn't want it bigger by volume and essentially that's allowed us to put some really neat new features into the design. So um, let's start with uh, looking at it on the side. So we've elevated it by three inches but we've put flow channels underneath. Um, this is now going to give you a much more even feeding to your actual oysters. Your oysters in the top bags are getting uh, as much water flowing through as they would as if they're in the bottom. Uh, to, to show you exactly how we've done that, essentially what we've done is we've created an hourglass form. So as the water's flowing into the side, basically it's being accelerated through the center and means you're getting all the nutrient, you're getting all the water flow that you need running across those top, top bags. Thus, you're feeding those oysters um, quicker and better than you would with any conventional system. The other thing that we've done, if you look at the float itself, it's all smoothed out. It's very much hull-like. We've, we've designed that with in mind. Two things, basically if it gets hit, if there's a corner, if there's an edge, that's going to give you potential damage. Uh, with this design, there are no corners or edges. Everything's smoothed down. Uh, the other benefit to that is this has less energy effect on the cage. So what I mean by that is if you have something that's got a flatter surface, like a tombstone style float, um, essentially as the water's flowing past that, that's putting a lot more pressure on your cage. This is equipment that you're expecting to last for years and years and years. Um, so this design mitigates that, reduces the amount of effect of water flow will have on any of your equipment. So that's, that's a good thing, that's a benefit. The other thing, being that it's molded this way, it's much, much stronger. Oh, but it must be way heavier then. No, it's not way heavier. I mean, again, you know, we're not looking for uh, people to be able to be weightlifters. We're looking for regular people to be able to use the equipment. So um, literally, we're looking at this being 10% heavier than our traditional float, but the engineering in it has made it substantially stronger because we have no corners anymore. Um, the other thing, moving on. So if you're so if you're in a tie, if you're in a channel or a tide where it rips at 
three, six, ten knots, I mean, this is gonna this is gonna pull less on your strands and really ride better in the water. Ride better in the water, strands, cage, ropes, anchors. Um, it's all equipment that you're paying for. You're looking for it to last. The more strain you put it on it, the shorter life it's gonna have. The more streamlined that we can make equipment like this, the longer it's gonna last. Uh, you know, it's not only protecting your investment as the oyster grow cage, it's your equipment. And you know, when things do break away, um, as they get to the end of their life, you know, you've also got a crop in there that you've gotta consider. Um, the other thing that we've done is you'll notice in the streamline if you look if you pan, pan into the edge the strands are now basically buried into the side of the float so um, effectively any hits or anything like that that's glancing off the side of the float it's not affecting your strands uh, thus extending the life of the strands on the float um, the other thing we've done is you'll see that on the neck we've put a raised rib. This rib is there because when you go to sinking time, um, if you're in a storm or if you're uh, for winter, for ice, basically you may be taking your caps off and leaving your caps off. When you're pulling it up again, um, you don't wanna have that popping over, thus weakening the connections to your cage. That rib's in there, it strengthens the neck, but also it makes sure this down strand gets retained. So, we have higher elevation for your drying, so in your rougher water, uh, you, you, you've got more clearance on the water, thus you can basically get a better drying. Um, we have better flow through the cage, so better flow means better feed, and it's a streamlined design that's basically massively reducing the amount of energy that's being put through your cage. So again, coming back to where we started, we were listening to what you were looking for. You were looking to protect your strands. You were looking to get better feed through the cage. You were looking for something that basically gave you a little bit more elevation uh, for the guys who were in rougher water. This covers all of that. And on top of that, we've engineered it in a way that it is the strongest float available on the market. So that's our new high flow and we're really excited to be sharing it with you today. That's awesome, see, I mean, we're, we're, we're ready to get it out on the water and, and really give this a whirl because I think that, like you said, you know, we've listened to folks that we've, you know, there have been some great suggestions, there have been some not so great suggestions. So what we've done is really, it looks like you've taken the best of, of everything and kind of the, the points that have always been hit on and, and developed, you know, in their, in their thoughts. So I think it's, I think it's going to be exciting. I mean, me personally, I, I cover Maine to Virginia and you know, our, with Frank Roberts down at Lady Island Oysters in South Carolina and uh, Doug Ankerson down at Double D Oyster Ranch. John Labatt in the UK now. You know, I think that this is going to be something that it, it retains the look and, and continuity of what a float is going to look like on their farm. So it shouldn't be a, a, a big ideal, you know, a big ordeal in, in lease decisions. Um, you know, same cap, it, it, it's really a great upgrade to, to what you're looking for as you look for new waters. Yep, and um, just, just lastly, something to share. For those guys who want to be in a more of a low profile area, this product will be available in the stealth option as well. So we are still the only manufacturer who produce a stealth variant, and obviously this is going to be available as stealth. Beautiful. Steen, thank you very much for, for taking some time out of your morning to show this to us. Um, we're looking forward to, to getting in some folks' hands to, to hear real feedback of, on their on their suggestions. Yep, uh, please give me your comments. We're, we're looking at anyone wants, who's in our vicinity wants to come and check it out, uh, put their hands on it, come on in. You're more than welcome. Beautiful. Like, share it. Please let us know, you know in the comments below what, what you think. Look forward to meeting with you. Bye.